Hello! So as you guys just obviously saw, I got my hair touched up, looking quite blonde right now. But I have decided I'm going to be a little bit naughty. <laughs> and I don't think like I officially got to really show you guys on the last vlog because I'm going to level with you. For Trevor's birthday, especially by the time we brought the cake out, I was pretty smashed. So I wasn't vlogging very well and I never got to like show you a good shot of his cake. But we have leftovers and I think I'm going to have just like a little slice. Here it is. It was so good from what I can remember of it. <laughs> Again, I was not in the best state of mind that night. Yeah, I just remember it being super, super good. And I saw it in the freezer this morning and I had totally forgotten for the last few days that we had leftovers. So I'm just going to give myself half of a slice. Like I just want a little taste. But if you guys want this, you can get it at Baskin Robbins. It's only like $16 for the whole thing. Not bad at all. So gonna treat myself a little bit. So here we go. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. That is dangerous. I'm a little upset that I have like three more slices in my fridge. That's so good. Mm. The brownie underneath it is probably one of the best brownies I've ever had. Oh my god. This is ridiculously good. But anyways, as soon as I'm done with this, the theme of tonight is bleach night. Like I said, I bleached my hair. And then after we're done with this, I'm actually going to do a little project and do a little bleach dye shorts and cropped sweatshirt set. So I'm really excited to do that. Supposedly, it's actually easier than tie dye. There's like a couple less steps. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm going to enjoy my little dessert here and then we will get to it. Okay, hey there. Please do not mind the state of this room. I have not cleaned up from filming stuff so definitely need to get on that at some point this week. But I'm starting on bleach dyeing. I have the two pieces here that I'm gonna dye. Both are from Boohoo. This first one is a pair of shorts that did not live up to what I had thought I ordered. If you guys want more background on that, then definitely check out my last vlog. I was very upset, but you know, I can just bleach dye it. So I guess it's like not the worst situation. And then this is actually technically the sweatshirt that's supposed to go with it. I ordered them like separately in different orders. Then I just decided I was going to get the full set. This is supposed to be cropped, but on me it's kind of long. So I do need to cut it. And I actually cut up the gray version of it last weekend. So I cut it into this length, which is actually really cute with like a swimsuit underneath. I did that for Trevor's Duffy Boat birthday party and I really like it. But like to just wear as a crop sweatshirt. This is actually a little bit too short. So I'm going to use it to measure how long to cut this one without actually like going as short as this gray one. Hopefully these are pretty decent scissors, but I don't want to go this short. So I think I'm going to go probably about that much less. Oh God. Okay. And these scissors suck. I will be right back. Okay. Here we go. We have the better scissors. I'm just going to find that where I cut before. Is this even? Is this a straight line? I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because it will curl up a little bit, but I think that that's good. Okay, cool. Perfect. So now let's get to bleach dyeing. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom. I'm just going to do this in the tub, just kind of like how I did the last tie dye video that I filmed. But this one is going to be like a lot quicker because we've already done this once before. If you guys want like a step by step of how to tie dye, I will link that video right over here on the screen. Basically, the difference though between the bleach and the regular tie dye is that, you know, obviously you're working with bleach. So I will walk you guys through that mixture. You don't have to wet these garments before bleach dyeing, you do it dry. I consulted many, many blogs about this so I don't have to go through that step and also too you only leave on the bleach I'm seeing things from anywhere between like 8 to 30 minutes I guess it just kind of depends on like how deep you want the bleach to go and just kind of leave it on until it gets to the desired color but you can't leave it on for too long or else the bleach will eat the fabric I'm a little bit nervous about these these are two different materials so we'll see what color ends up happening once the bleach is applied hopefully it'll be similar but 
If it ends up being different colors, then I will just wear them separately, it's fine. But I'll go ahead and start mixing the bleach. So I have this little spray bottle and this is what I'm gonna use for the bleach. And the bleach mixture is one to one, so one part bleach to one part water. And since I'm working with bleach, I'm gonna have to turn the fan on. So I just wanted to give you guys that bleach mixture before I go radio silent as I work. And one other thing that I do wanna let you guys know, so I'm gonna do the crumple technique this time instead of like the spiral or the crinkle technique for this set so basically all I have to do is kind of just like crumple it randomly and then just put rubber bands around it and I do have a ton of rubber bands over here so I'm all set ready to go and let's start bleach dyeing. As you can see, the sweatshirt is turning really, really fast. I may need to start like washing that one out in like the next couple minutes, but the shorts aren't turning at all. And I'm so sorry about our bathtub by the way, but which is so weird, I did check, it is cotton, just like the sweatshirt. So I don't know why that one isn't turning, but I guess I'll leave it on for a while and see what happens. All right, so I took apart the bands and now for the big reveal, here's the sweatshirt. And I did rinse these out, don't worry, these don't still have bleach on them. But so, I'm a little bit bummed. I kind of fucked up the back. I don't know what happened. Apparently none of the back was showing in the little crumples that I did, but the front looks freaking sick. This looks so cool. I love how this came out here, the sleeves and everything. So I'm not even that mad about the back. I actually think it's like, kind of cool because the back looks like really plain, but then like, bam, like it's this really cool design in the front. So I love the way that this came out. It's so cute. I can't wait to wear this. Now for the shorts, these are labeled as cotton. Nothing has happened to them. I think that they're polyester and they were mislabeled. So I'm a little bit annoyed about this. These shorts have failed me yet again. Not only were they not the shorts that I ordered, they also didn't bleach dye, so that's fantastic. I guess I'll just wear these to like lounge around the house, but that's a little bit of a bummer. But you know, at least the sweatshirt turned out really, really cool. I did want to just hand wash it because this is a fleece material inside. So I just want to avoid pilling on this for as long as I can. So instead of putting it through the washer and dryer, I'm just going to hang dry it overnight. So the next morning, I'm just checking on the sweatshirt. Looks so good. I'm really excited about this. I'm like thinking, because I have some leftover bleach solution, I may try and bleach the back, just give it a little extra design here. I haven't quite decided, but it's really cute. I just like, I love the way that this turned out. Okay, bud, you ready for your walk? Ready to go on a walk? Let's go. Come on. We just got back from our walk and I really wanted to show you guys this little PJ set. I'm not a huge PJ set person. I usually just sleep in like an old oversized t-shirt or a sports bra if it's really hot. But I just got this PJ set from a company that I collab with sometimes. And this is from the brand Crescent. But this is just so freaking cute and it was so cool and nice and light to sleep in. It's like this little brown polka dot pattern. I actually wore the top in my May Favorites video just like as my top because it's like really nice. You could even wear this with jeans or wear it like a PJ set like it's intended but seriously so cute and I love it and now I want to go find more cami shorts PJ sets to sleep in because I love this okay so I thought I would start off the morning with an unboxing because I opened the door and I found two packages as I was walking Spartacus so this first one is from Princess Polly and I am always forever shocked at how fast they deliver but I got a pair of white shorts this is from the brand of Benz and I've been wanting white shorts for the summertime and I saw these and these are perfect they have just like a little bit of distressing and I like the fact that they are high-waisted and they're a little bit longer. And then also too, they're actually more of an off-white, which is good because I'm still gonna get like that white denim kind of vibe. But if I get like a speck on it or something, it probably won't show up as much as if like it was on a brilliant bright white. But these are their Venice shorts and I got a size, I think it's a 
Australian 10, which is a US 6. So I'll try those on in a second, but I'm excited about them. And then I got a package from Amazon. And this actually wasn't supposed to come in until tomorrow, so I am shocked in the best possible way. But yeah, oh my god, this came in so so fast. But on Memorial Day, my friends and I went to Schooner or later in Long Beach to get like some mimosas to go. And one of my friends, he didn't want alcohol he just wanted coffee so we ordered him an iced coffee and they handed us this like beer bottle looking coffee and we we're like no we want coffee and they're like no that's coffee and it was like this cold brew coffee from La Colombe and it was amazing I had a few sips and I was like that is probably the best cold brew coffee I've ever had in my life like it didn't need any sweetener or cream or anything. As you guys know, I do take my coffee with a little bit of flavored creamer. So I've been dying to find it and I can't find the exact bottle of it, but obviously I was able to find that La Colombe coffee. It does sell coffee. So I think that this is the closest to the one that's in the bottle. This is the cold brew Bazillion, the bold and rich one. I'm gonna give this one a try. They have like a few different ones. I know a lot of people like the lattes, but I wanted just straight coffee because I think it would be nice like in the summertime when I do iced coffee to just do like straight coffee. I'll do it with a splash of cream if I need to, but anytime there's a coffee out there that I can drink black, I really, really always like wanna find it and try it just because Obviously, if you drink black coffee, it cuts down on the calories and on the sugar and everything. So I'll refrigerate these and give this a try. And there's Trevor. Good morning. The coffee's in. Yeah. Okay then, so in an effort to avoid working out right now, I went to actually go get the mail. And we got something in from Pop Sockets, And then from Sahira Jewelry, I just saw an ad for them and I really, really liked the jewelry. So I ordered a few pieces. So this will be like my first order from them. So I'm excited to open this up, but I'm gonna open up the Pop Sockets first. So Trevor and I each got a Pop Socket. His is the Clemson Tiger one, but mine is way better because look at that face. It's Spartacus. Oh my god, he's so cute. So I can't put this on my phone just yet. My case does not want to hold the new pop socket glue mixture that they're using right now. So I ordered a new phone case, which should be getting here, I believe, tomorrow or so. The phone case that I have, I've had it since I had the phone and I'm kind of over it. So hopefully when the new one gets here, this pop socket will stick better to it. Then here are the pieces that I got from Sahira Jewelry. So I got a necklace. I'm really, really excited about these. These are kind of like lock earrings. So cute. And then I got another chain. This is like a thicker herringbone chain, which I've been wanting. So I'm really, really excited about these pieces. They're apparently not supposed to tarnish or anything. Can't wait to style them when I go to shoot with Michelle this weekend. It's about 1.30 and I'm going to start working out at 2. And I thought I would try one of these to kind of be like my pre-workout. I don't normally take pre-workout. I just drink coffee in the morning and hope that it lasts me until when I go to work out, but figured I might as well give this cold brew a shot. Okay, so it wasn't quite as cold as I was like hoping it would get yet. It's only really been in the fridge for maybe like an hour and a half, so it's not like that super, super cold yet. So I just put it in a glass with some ice, and then I also did that too in case like I don't like it just black. This allows me room to add a little bit of creamer if I need to, but let's see. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, I think that this is pretty much the same as that bottled one that I like, so... Yeah, I'm into that. I like that it's not bitter at all. It's like a very smooth, flavorful taste. Yeah, this is good. Okay, I'm happy with this. Okay, so it's a bit later and I made myself a little salad. This is like my Italian slash Mediterranean inspired salad. I've made it a few times, but I wanted to share the lettuce that I'm using with you guys because 
I just discovered this and I love it. This is the Trader Joe's herb salad mix. I accidentally grabbed it one day because like it looks very similar to spring mix and this salad mix is amazing. It's definitely great for like Italian and Greek salads. Just the herbs in it give it some extra flavor. So besides like the regular baby lettuce, this also includes like arugula, chard, parsley, cilantro, dill. It's really, really good, super flavorful. So highly recommend if you have like a lighter salad that you're just doing like a vinaigrette with. Every day he stands right by the sliding glass door and demands to be left out during the time that there's like a patch of sun in our backyard because he likes to sunbathe every single day. You getting your tan on, buddy? Trying to get nice and tan for the summertime? done with a workout have my little smoothie here if you guys want like a full breakdown of everything that I use in my smoothie I posted a what I eat in a day I believe it was actually the video that went up before this where I actually like broke down everything that I use in the smoothie and like why I use it and stuff so if you guys want more info on that check out that video I'll have it linked right here but today is like really a work day I've just been working all day and then obviously I took my little break to work out and I feel like I'm definitely like my arms are looking better they've definitely got a better shape on them than they did pre-quarantine so I'm happy with it my reverse quarantine bod has been going very good Trevor has been telling me almost every single day that I look slimmer and slimmer and slimmer so I'm very happy about that I feel like I'm on a good routine with eating which is also part of why I was kind of motivated to start doing what I eat in a daze because I noticed that I was on a good track and I wanted to keep that going and I knew that if I did what I eat in a daze every once in a while that would kind of keep me on there and then also force me to be creative with like the good more wholesome things that I'm eating just so that that way it doesn't get repetitive so I've definitely liked it for that but yeah feeling really good not that anyone necessarily asked for a quarantine bot update but you know I'm gonna give it to you I feel good and then just like as far as quarantine goes I still have no updates on when we're going back to our office like they told us that they were gonna have a new end date for us like two weeks ago and it never came so we have a company meeting on Tuesday I'm thinking maybe then they'll have an update although on the last company meeting when they were supposed to tell us when we were coming back into the office I didn't hear anything not like I'm in like a huge hurry to get back my hope is that it'll be kind of like a either optional or like staggered kind of in the office situation like since they don't want too many people in the office at once at first I'm hoping that it's like you can pick like two to three days a week to work from home and stuff like that because like my dream schedule would be to have a hybrid work from home and an office schedule I do enjoy working from home quite a bit but I do miss the days where I was actually in the office just to be able to talk to the people in my office so I am missing that aspect truthfully my position could be a hundred percent remote because my entire team and everyone that I work with the most is actually in Texas so I really truly could be remote and my team wouldn't know any difference but I do have two team members in the California office that I do work with once in a while for our team so it would be nice to be able to see their faces again but other than that, like I said, I'm not in a huge hurry to get back because I do like this routine. I'm working out every day and I'm cooking or blending my lunches daily. So it's been nice from a health perspective to be working from home, but I do miss like the social aspect of like, you know, seeing other people every day. Okay, then you guys, speaking of my what I eat in days, you guys know I'm super into perfect bars right now. Look at this freaking stash I have here. This is so out of control. Like how many perfect bars is one? person meat and there's like two different types of perfect bars in here I'm just it's it's getting a little bit cray <laughs> hi guys so I feel like this whole entire vlog is just like a bunch of unboxings and I apologize about that but I know that most people just like to watch people get stuff so I'm pretty sure it's not a problem but side note if you guys like my hair you guys will notice it's got a nice curl to it right now I just did heatless curls using 
two headbands and I'm trying to decide between if I like this technique better or there's another one that I want to try tomorrow night. But basically you just wrap your hair around these headbands and it just like, you look weird for a little while. I only put it in for maybe, uh, I'd say I wore it for like an hour and a half and it gave me these curls if I did it overnight. I'm sure that would lock these curls in a lot more, but I do like it. My one thing with this technique is that like, because it slopes down this way, you don't curl here, but you could easily go in with a curler and just give that a little bit of life, but I still like it. I feel like I have like a lion's mane and yeah, I am loving it. I would just say next time though, I would be doing this overnight and then I'd put a ton of oil in my hair too because my hair just needs some TLC. But anyways, I'm unboxing. I got a new phone case because I am sick and tired of my phone case. I've had it for far too long and also, it's like that silicone-y material, and I talked about this when I got my pop socket, but the new pop sockets have not been sticking to that case, so you guys can see how busted up my phone is. It's pretty bad. But anyways, the new pop sockets have like not been sticking to that case, so I figured, okay, now it's time to finally get one, and I've always loved Sonic's cases, and I finally started making pixel cases, so I got this one. It's like a bunch of pineapples, which I love. I freaking love pineapple. Ooh. Man, I wish I had gotten pineapple from the grocery store yesterday. Oh well. Anyways, but I thought that it would be cute for summer to do this. I can't put on the pop socket just yet. I also got a pop wallet, which probably won't get here till next week. But for right now, I'm going to put on the new case. So freaking cute. Oh, love. Yes. Okay, so that is like... A lot nicer so this is hard in the back it's silicone on the sides but hard on the back so you can't bend it but this one is like 100% silicone so um, done with that ooh yes this is so cute oh I love it so yeah I'm gonna get a pop wallet on the back I'll show you guys what that looks like when it comes in it'll cover up right here unfortunately but you'll still be able to see the pineapples up here but I love it this is so cute oh my god and then the buttons feel nice cuz like my other one was getting stretched out and worn out, but this is like so much better. Okay, yes, I'm into this. Okay, so we're out on a walk. I just got done with my workout and we said to take a walk afterwards just chug some like liquid IV because it's like really sunny out I want to get dehydrated also I want to tan That's, I don't know if you can see right now but my arms are way tanner than the rest of my body I was noticing that when I was editing some videos so need to even it out we may also go to the beach because I just want to be like one even color but just a reminder, if you guys want to try that liquid IV, I do have a discount code. I'll put it down below. But basically, it just like helps oh, to... Oh, is that that powder stuff? Yeah. Oh, I like He that. loves it. But I had the lemon lime one. That's the best flavor. Yes, that is the best. Not necessarily like the other one too much. But I'll drink it. But basically, it's just got a lot of like good electrolytes and stuff in it to keep you hydrated. Because that's what plants crave. <laughs> Every time I hear it, I And it is what plants it. crave. If you guys know what movie you're referencing, please comment down below because that movie is awesome. And I feel like it's like one of those cult favorites that like not a lot of people know about it. But if you know about it, you like love it. It's so good. You guys, we're so sad. OC Fair has been canceled for this year. We always get our bed sheets from OC Fair. I know it sounds weird, but they have like the best bed sheets. There's just like this one vendor. I wouldn't say the best. It's the, like the one best of the best value. bang for your buck. Yeah. 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 And it's like this bender, it's like super, super soft sheets. And then we have a cow king, so it's like the biggest size. So it's always expensive, but like, how are we gonna get fucking sheets this year? I don't even know.
camera died, but we stopped at Cancun Juice to get some tacos and burritos and pineapple agua frescas. These are like the best. They're so freaking good. Mm. Like, so good. All right, you guys, I'm so sorry. This vlog has just been all over the place. I can't concentrate on anything, but I did want to show you guys how I did those heatless curls because I do want to do that on my hair overnight. That way when I wake up in the morning tomorrow, my hair is going to be nice and curled and pretty. So in order to do it, the best way is just like two little headbands here. You're going to take the first one, just put it right over. Really, really cute look here. And then two, I just want to let you guys know, I think it works best with the side part. So just choose whichever side you prefer to part your hair on. But you're going to take all of the hair, make sure it's nice and smooth. And then you're going to take a little section right here. And just flip it through like so. Then you're going to gather up a little bit more hair. Still keeping that first section, just kind of like how you would like with the French braid, where you just keep adding hair and you're gonna go all the way around the back. And then when you get to a halfway point, you're just gonna curl the rest of it underneath the headband, just wrapping it until you run out of space. And I like to leave a little bit of the ends out just for like a beachier kind of vibe. Okay, then you can go ahead and push it up if you want because I like to sleep with mine up a little bit. I'm gonna take the second one, place it right over the first one, and same thing, you're gonna take the hair and keep wrapping it around the headband, except you're not gonna go through both headbands, you're gonna go through just the one headband. go to sleep like this and I'll see you guys in the morning and show you how they turn out although you guys already got a little bit of a preview but that was when I had my hair wrapped up like this just for like 45 minutes so since I'm gonna sleep with this in it should be nice and bouncy and super curly in the morning all right good morning guys so as you guys can see I slept with this stuff in all night. Actually, when I woke up this morning it had like almost come off my head so I had to put it like back on but go ahead and take this off you guys can see the curls got a little bit wonky but that's fine okay so these got like crazy curly which is fine because these curls actually fall quite a bit so i'm just gonna shake them out with my fingers okay so what i'm gonna do is just basically let them fall for the morning and then go in and refine anything that fell too much with a hair curler, just like a few pieces here and there. And then at that point is when I will go ahead and spray it to hold in the curls. So I'm gonna go make myself some coffee, pack up all my clothes, and then we'll see what we're working with after giving this like about an hour to relax. I think that next time I do this, I'm probably 
probably just gonna like put my hair in that for a couple of hours in the morning then just hairspray it. I still like it, it's still cute. What I did do though was just curled a couple pieces on top because of the way the headband sits. It doesn't curl sections like up here and stuff so I did go in with a curler just to give that a little bit of shape and then I recurled the front just so that it would fall a little bit nicer but yeah I like it. It was a lot easier to get ready this morning because my hair was already done when I woke up which was like so perfect. All right guys here with Michelle. She looks cute. Hello. She actually brought her camera. Oh, I didn't even notice that you had your camera bag right now. I was just Ugh. not paying attention. That's my wallet. Oh, you know, <laughs> just exciting. But she has the Canon M50. Oh my God, yours is so much smaller it's than so mine. It's so much smaller. I yeah, think mine's like too. a monster. I brought, yeah. I brought my old one too, because I'm gonna vlog sometimes while we shoot. Yeah. And like I was using it yesterday and I was like, this thing is so tiny. She gets dirty pretty quickly. Yeah. At least you have a freaking lens cap. I do. I have an extra one too. I don't think. Well, this, no, it won't no. fit. Oh, yeah, yours is much smaller. Yeah. I'm like, bye, everyone. <laughs> yeah. So I ordered extra lens caps and I lost all of them. How many was that? I lost four lens caps. I've lost one. <laughs> but I only purchased two. So we'll uh, see. I need to reorder that pack. You, I need to order like six of those. Six you need packs. Like a lifetime supply. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it is hot today. Uh, like so hot. Michelle posted like some um, Instagram story where she's like, the weather's so nice today. Insert here. <laughs> <laughs> and I rolled up, I'm like, it's hot. She's like, no, it's not. And then I get out and I'm like, oh, it's hot. Because where we live, it's so much cooler. Yeah. Because it's so oh. inland here. We're done. We're yeah. so close to the beach. God. Yeah, we are. I mean, even Irvine, though, like, because you guys are usually much warmer than us. Yeah. But, like, it wasn't even this hot in Irvine. Yeah. So, you it's like I, 80 you and I are pretty something like, degrees. Um, what's the word? Pretty, we're not parallel. What'd you say? We're like, I would say, like, the distance from the beach is relatively similar. I'm like, just like a little bit more because you're yeah. like straight. Yeah. That's true. All right. So, I don't know. We don't know our geography. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna use Michelle's camera. She forgot the battery last time, so we didn't, but there it is. There it is. You haven't named her yet. Oh, I haven't named mine either. Wait, your stand is Patricia, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Patrice? No, Patrice. Yeah. Yeah, but we haven't named the camera yet. Stack. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I'm not even helping you, I'm just like filming it. <laughs> So we start to get some crepes for our next photo. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to use the crepe in my photo, no, that's but I definitely... <laughs> I don't know, I might. I, yeah. It depends, but I definitely might ask coffee. You look so tan with that top. I, I just looked at you and I was know. like, oh, you look so I tan. I look super tan. You guys, on that walk... Okay, so on that walk yesterday, I didn't get as tan as I wanted to, though. You know what? I went for a it's run a and I wore a, a tank, like uh, like a just like a cutoff, uh -huh. and so my arms yeah. are darker than this part. And I was like, the one time. That's what I was trying to tan because I was editing that Shein video. Yeah. And my arms are so freaking tan, and it's like right through the center. I'm not as tan, and I'm like, oh, uh, this noticed, is an issue. I noticed in Julia and Hunter's video, like they're going on walks, but yeah. like she's wearing a sports bra. Like well, to I mean, like tan. What else can she do? Yeah, but I was I mean, like, she could wear a bikini not, top. Yeah, I wouldn't want yeah. to like tan because for me that's like permanent. You can't change that. <laughs> once it's there, like once I'm tan, like there's no going back. You can't adjust. Yeah. Go in the sun a little bit not more. Until like you get that's like again. for the rest of the year. So yeah. Like, like you could probably like just yeah. it up and tan. Yeah, but I'm like, that's that's six seven months of the. <laughs> that's a commitment. <laughs> that's a commitment. So I was like, I can't believe she's doing that. I have a short tan right now. Oh, do you? It's like right to here. So I, I convinced her to go to the beach tomorrow so I can leave. <laughs> there you go. Yay. Oh my god. It smells so good. We haven't done it. Welcome to the long time. It's so long. We're eating the It's like still so long. facing both of us. Yeah. Because last time there was nowhere to put that. <laughs> Mine's butter, sugar, cinnamon, and you got. And mine's just butter and sugar. Just classic. We're in 
our next looks. Michelle looks like a five-year-old going to the beach and I look like her fucking mom. <laughs> like, look at these outfits. I'm like, I just need a bucket and a shovel. I'm like, I should, I think I should be carrying the diaper bag. Sweetie, let's go. I'm like, I want ice I have a snack in the bag. If you're quiet, <laughs> they can have it. <laughs> if you're quiet. Oh my god. I don't feel like we should have just taken pictures of the rooftop, but I have a bathing suit full. That is true. We have been trying to scout a location for like a few blocks now. <laughs> and like people are looking at us because like we're dressed like so She's differently. She's like a sophisticated woman and they're like, who is that child who's extremely <laughs> taller than her that she's with? Oh my god. I have, a, I have, a, I have another bucket hat look. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have so many bucket hat looks? I have this one and then I have um, a denim blue one. Oh my god. That's with my 4th of July outfit. Uh, I have a very dressy look Pretty coming cool. up. No. Okay. It's after my 4th of July one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, two things. First off, we are not walking out of this parking lot because us dressed like this. People are in it, like, on the last look, we we're, were, like, pretty sure people were, like, where the hell are they going? And this time, like, I am in, like, a, like, I could wear this outfit to a wedding, and Michelle's, like, in Going to the beach again. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're not walking out like this. Second off, Michelle just literally saw people passing by with red popsicles and yelled over the parking structure to ask them where they got their popsicles from. <laughs> we were, like, we want to do red popsicles in, like, our 4th of July look, and that was, like, something we thought of last night. And yeah. then we just happened to see people walking around it. So I was like, where did you get them? She's like, excuse me. They're like, the girl in the white bucket hat and bikini. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, my God. If they're parked up here. <laughs> There's definitely a guy parked in this car right there. Probably in this car. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Papers. <laughs> Guys, I'm shooting Sarah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah, and you're watching. Disney Channel! <laughs> That's the first thing she does. <laughs> if you're old enough to understand. I don't know, is it this new Disney Channel, do they do that? I don't know. I have no idea. Is Disney Channel still around? I have no idea. Okay. Hilarious. I'm gonna shoot you before your response. Okay, so to explain that last... <laughs> so to explain the popsicles, these are our 4th of July looks because um, we're not gonna be able to shoot again until after the 4th of July. So we're doing them early. We want popsicles. And <laughs> <laughs> popsicles are very difficult to shoot with. We're having a lot of trouble. I'm all done with mine, but Michelle's still working on hers. Not only does it look inappropriate, but it's melting. <laughs> yeah. So like it had said earlier, Michelle screamed over the balcony. Did I record that? I can't remember if I did, but anyways. We talked about it. Yeah, yeah. Michelle was, you know, they told us where to get the popsicles. So we went to this restaurant and we're like, hey, do you guys have popsicles? And they're like, do you mean like popsicles with drinks? And we're like, well, that's nice, but no, like, no just we would be damned for that. But like right now we just need the popsicles. So he's like, yeah, come on in. And he hands us the popsicles. We're like, how much? He's like, no, you guys don't worry about it. It's free. And we're like, oh. So we got these for free. How you doing? It's all over my hands. Oh my god, don't touch yourself. You're in all white. Oh, I need wipes. Do I have hand sanitizer? Look at this. I know. Look at her freaking hand, you guys. You're on my you really are like a five-year-old this time. <laughs> your bucket hat and your sticky my hands. My vision for this week's shoots is like five and under. <laughs> way to a graduation luncheon at a nice little was that like a golf club yes thing? do you want to say or you want me to put your name just put the name and i'll deal with it from here there you go you want to write her on this but yeah we got all dressed up fancy it's so like nice to actually have things to go to and like plans and stuff you look very nice
like your boobs. <laughs> God damn it, Trevor. <laughs> and your skin. I'm just trying to get creepy now. That's really creepy. Right? <laughs> I'm so tan. That's why I like, I meant to say your skin tone Dang. color. Oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> you were just trying to be creepy. I was just trying to be creepy. <laughs> I do like your boobs, so. Oh my God. <laughs> and your smile. And your teeth. Back to the creepiness. <laughs> Great, wait, what? <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll go with that. Uh, it, got, it got sweet, then it got sour. <laughs> right. I like the dress. Thanks. Got ready Very in like summery. literally 20 minutes. <laughs> yes, I did. No, it was like 40 minutes. No, it wasn't. You didn't even say to start getting ready until like 11.50 and we were out the door by like 11.20, so don't even. 11.50 and then we got out the door by 10 11. 10.50. No, you said 11.50 <laughs> and then we got out the door at 11.20. 10.50. So what you guys don't know is we got on our DeLorean, gunned it to 88 so that we could go back in time 30 minutes because that makes a lot of sense. You're such an asshole. You Thank God we had I'm that there. DeLorean Shut laying around. Up. You know what I and meant. And we didn't need roads. God damn it, Trevor. Bright line. <sighs> oh, they is, have a your, Costco here. is your intent today to just irritate the shit out of me? Oh, well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> that did not escalate quickly. You have been on one this whole drive. Look, they're breaking. Oh my God. Am I proud of myself? Nope. You should not be proud of yourself.